little higher on the right. Thanks, any time. <laughs> of course, my eye for cooking is a lot better than it is for decorating. I think the place looks wonderful. Uh, yeah, it's getting there. But then again, you haven't been in for a long time. True, true, and I can't stay now. Was it something I made? Uh, ha, 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 ha. No, I'm on my way to the clinic. I just wanted to get some tea and English muffins for Claudia and for me. Okay, coming right up. So, why haven't I seen you and Rick for a while? You guys used to be in here all the time. Well, we've just been incredibly busy, that's all. Never stopped you before. <sighs> this is true. Of course, if you found another place, that's Are you okay. kidding? What could we find that could possibly compare to this? Then don't be such strangers. You're right. Would you like to try and see if we can do something about it? Absolutely. I don't see why not. It is Christmas. Absolutely. The holiday spirit's in the air. Peace on earth. Goodwill toward men. Exactly. People have to get along at Christmas yeah. time. It brings out the best in everybody. Right. And it's a good plan. How could it possibly fail? Look, the four of us here together having a nice, quiet dinner. Mm -hmm. No shop talk. Not a word about the hospital. Oh, well, that'll never happen. Well, it will if we give it just a little bit of effort, you know. And who knows? It might heal all the old wounds. It might. Or it might cause some new ones. Oh, uh, Lisa, oh, Lisa, we're going to be uh, fine. I don't know. Thank you. Oh. Uh, uh -huh. Rose. Uh, Let's think about this again, because Rick was really incredibly angry. Seriously. I know, but Mark was angry, too. You should have seen him, but the two of them are professionals. Yeah. Their main concern is with the patient, right? Susan yes. Moore is getting better. She's on her road to recovery. The little di disagreement has to have blown over by now. I would so love to see them friends again. Well, let's just give them the opportunity. They're just too stubborn to do it on their own. Yeah. Well, are you aware that they were at each other again yesterday over Amy? Was it serious? Rose, I don't know. Let's give it a shot, at least. What are we waiting for, Christmas? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Then it's settled. We go with plan A. Yeah, right. I'll have Rick here for dinner tonight. And I will have Mark here. I better get back to Claudia with her... Cold, cold tea. tea. I you betcha. On the house. Sorry. No problem. Maybe we should... Have a plan B, just in case. We do. We do? Mm -hmm. I don't think I want to ask. Oh, it's perfect. We'll just have a couple of suits of armor on hand, you know. You're such a comfort. <laughs> you relax, it'll work out just fine. Mm -hmm. It's better. If it doesn't, I may have to move in upstairs. Well, that's okay. I can make up the spare bed. Thanks a lot, pal. <laughs> there okay. you go. There's tea bags in there. Hello. Hey, party! Here. Well, I was over at the clinic. Claudia sent me over in search of her tea. But it's on its way. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be working? What do you do? Well, I deliver flowers for Christmas. You wouldn't believe all the gorgeous women that receive flowers on Christmas. <laughs> yeah? Who are, the, who are those for? Well, I was over at the hospital delivering flowers, and the person already discharged, so they're mine. So you're going to give it to one of those gorgeous girls? Well, I was thinking about giving it to two girls. Yeah? Anybody we know? Yeah, they're my two favorites. Yeah? Lucky. Well, I'll show you who it is right now. One for you. Uh, and one for you. What a guy. Thank you, sir. What for a my heart. best, and at the moment, only girls. <laughs> Mwah. Come back. Uh, <laughs> Amy, what's wrong? Dr. Dante. About what this time? He doesn't believe me. About what? Yesterday, he gave me some lab reports about a patient's allergies. I was taking a break, so I passed them on to Bobby Spencer. That is standard procedure, is it not? Yes. Well, well go on. she forgot or something to put them into the chart. So now, the patient has an attack, and he blames me. Why? Because I don't believe you, that's why. See? What is this all about? I think you're shirking your responsibility. You made a mistake, and you're afraid to admit it. Why There's are no you... place for that in this hospital. Doctor, why are you so quick to blame Amy? This doesn't concern you. It does concern me, and if the allergy situation was so 
Serious? Why didn't you make a notation on that job? Because that's not my job. Well, it's not your job to go around reprimanding nurses all I the time either, I was making the rounds. I gave Amy what I thought was a simple instruction, but I realize now her personal phone call was much more important than what I had to say. Doctor, if you saw her on the phone, why didn't you wait until you had her full attention? Because this is a hospital, Doctor. It's not a sorority house. I don't have that kind of time to waste. Dr. Dante, I heard what you said. And as for you, nurse, you better shape up in fact, because if you can't take care of your job, we'll get somebody who can. Doctor, that's not your business. That's a hospital decision. My patients are my business. Well, why don't you spend time with your patients, not harassing the staff? Amy, find somebody to relieve you and pull yourself together. I'll take care of Dante. You all right? Yeah. You look a little better. I went to the cafeteria and I got some coffee and I kind of cleaned myself up a little bit. Good. Feel like talking about it? Could it wait? No, oh, Amy, this time it can't. I have to know the truth about what happened to Dr. Dante's instructions. I don't know. I swear to you, Rick, I am not lying. I hope so. I would never ignore a doctor's orders. I am not that irresponsible. But not on purpose, anyway. What do you mean? I mean that there have been times, many times, where you get so wrapped up in yourself that you don't even hear what anybody else is saying. But I'm not like that. I, well, I'm not at work anyway. Dr. Dante seems to think you are. And you're going to believe him over me? I didn't say that, Amy. You don't have to. It's the same old thing. You're always willing to think the very worst of me. That is not true. Why don't you ever defend your family, you know, instead of immediately blaming them all the time? Amy, if you're innocent, I'm behind you a thousand percent. If? If. That's why it's very important that I know what you're saying is true. I see. I'm guilty until proven innocent. Is that no, how it works? Yes. No, you have to convince me that what you're saying is true. It is, Rick. I promise you, I'm not lying. There you are. What are you doing, Amy? Hiding out? Huh. What are you doing here, Blackie? Oh, I had some more deliveries to make. Heard about what happened with Miss Paulson's flowers. Why'd you tell me when I delivered them? I didn't know. That was a pretty dumb play. You could have killed the poor lady. You want to wear this Wait a Just hold it. Why are you so sure that Amy is involved? Who else would be so stupid? Well, you're a big help. You're a really big help. She happens to say that she's innocent. Oh, come on. Yeah, and I'm a straight-A student. You don't believe... This is Amy we're dealing with. She'd say anything to get out of trouble. You don't believe her, do you? If she tells me that she's telling the truth, yes, I'll believe her. <laughs> You've been taken then, pal. No, it's a matter of simple faith. And there are some members of this family that I think need a rather large dose of that item. Yeah, well, we're talking about Amy here. Hey, I am tired of fighting, of arguing, of bickering, of backstabbing. This happens to be the Christmas season, right? And if we can't get along now, this family is in trouble. Excuse me. Hi, Leslie. How is the clinic? Closed for the evening, finally. Do you have a big evening planned? No, just a quiet dinner with friends. And you? I'm off to the store. I'm going to wait for Luke and Holly. Where are they? Well, they've been up in Albany. They're trying to track down witnesses to help her case. Oh, give them my best. I will. Have a good evening. Thanks. Bye. You all set? Yeah, I am. I'm even looking forward to this dinner. So what did Rick say when you told him? Oh, I knew there was something I forgot to do. What? Why didn't you call him? Strategy? Chicken. Well, I didn't want to give him a chance to change his mind. Well, I'd certainly say you're safe now. Sure. See, this way I catch him off guard. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, I just hope he hasn't made other plans. Oh, he better not. Oh, Lord. Hello, Dr. Rick Weber, please. This is Dr. Weber. So is this. Hello there. Hi, Leslie. Wow, I'm glad to hear a nice, sane voice in the storm. Oh, 
bad day? Yeah, you're worse than that so far. You want me to call back? No, 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 no. please. Look, I could use just a few minutes of, of quiet and rest from that. Uh, make, make it a week. How's that? How about one evening? That sounds great. What's your uh, game plan? Well, I thought we would let Amy cook for Blackie and Mike. Well, I like it so far. Go on. And then you and I could have dinner out at Kelly's. Rose and I were talking today about how it's been too long since we'd gotten together there. And that would give us a chance to relax and spend a quiet evening just together without the family problems or talking about the hospital. I'm sold. You'll do it? Don't sound surprised. I'd love to do it. Well, it's, it's going to be just what you need. You'll see. Hey, look, save the sales pitch. I'm buying. Now, shall I pick you up at the house or what? No, I'm here now. I mean, I'm at Kelly's. I'll just wait for you well, here. Well, I won't be long at all. Okay, bye. bye. Well, all systems go. Rose, he was more enthusiastic than I ever dreamed. Really, even after you met your Mark would be joining us? Well, I didn't exactly put it that way. How exactly did you put it? I didn't say anything. Well, it's probably just as well. Element of surprise, you know. Right. I wonder why he was so eager to get out tonight. Well, whatever it was, be glad for it. Oh, I am. I am. I'm curious, but I'm glad. Now, everything's all set. Mark's on his way here, too. Now, the four of us will have a nice, quiet, relaxing dinner. Forget all about the past. Mm. Believe me, Leslie. Rick will thank you for this later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry to be intrude, but by any chance, do you happen to be my date for the evening? Uh, well, that depends. Do you promise to have a good time, to put the cares of the day behind you, to think about nothing but pleasant company, a delicious meal, and a relaxing evening? I do. Okay, then kiss me. I'm yours. Hey, stranger. Oh, hi, Rose. How are you? He remembers my name. Hey, it hasn't been that long. If you have to ask, it has. That's okay. I forgive you. Hello. So you had a long, rough day, huh? You wouldn't believe. Oh. Anything in particular? Yes. Amy. I would believe it. And Mark Dante. Oh. What happened now? I don't really know, except I believe it started with a misunderstanding between Bobby Spencer and with Amy. I just saw Bobby. She didn't mention one word about it. Apparently, some of Dr. Dante's instructions were lost. As a result, the patient had a rather serious allergic attack, and when Mark found out, he hit the ceiling. Did you talk to him? You could call it that, yes. Uh-huh. What would you call it? I don't know what the man's problem is. Now, he's chewing out Amy because of what happened. I go to Amy. I try to find out exactly what did happen. Turns on me. Uh-oh. What did you do? I told him exactly what I thought of his attitude. Wesley, it is very difficult not to conclude that he is trying to get at me by using Amy. It's not happening. Well, he is not going to get away with it. He has a problem with me. Fine, he sees me, but he doesn't hide behind some woman's skirt. Hello, Rose. Hello. Sorry, I'm late. Is that spare bedroom still available? Wesley, is this your idea of how to spend a relaxing, quiet evening? How was I to know that you two would be at each other's throats again? How was I to know that it would get worse instead of better? Why do you guys let this keep happening? Why don't you ask your husband? He's not as responsible. Dr. Dante, you've got a problem. See me about it. I don't want you going through Amy. Oh, yeah? Is that what you think? That's exactly what I think the case is, yes. Don't be flattering yourself. You're both my problem. You ever start to think that your problem might be you? No, probably not, because you always conveniently have a nurse or a doctor that you can blame things on, right? Okay, time to go home. No, Dr. Dante, let's have it out. Right here, Wine, right now, please. fine with me. Anybody want some more wine? When are you going to stop turning professional incompetence into a personal vendetta? When you can tell the difference between your arrogance and your judgment, doctor. I thought we'd have steaks tonight. Suddenly, I'm not hungry. Neither nice am I. Nice try. No, sorry. Not your fault. Let me see. Another thing, Doctor, Wait. now that I think of no. it. No, let's get enough, it settled now. Enough, enough, damage has been done. We'll continue this another time. You got it, sir. 